been leaving my car at this spot for a long time and here's my shuttle so we're headed out to Austin Spin Up 2021. We'll see you there. This is me vlogging with the DJI Action 2. At the end of this video, make sure you stay tuned and I'll tell you my findings and how I feel it is. It's a vlogging camera as we go to spin up 2021. Whether it's uh, 63 degrees Fahrenheit, light winds out north. One of the accessories that comes with the Action 2 is this really cool ball head tripod kind of mount but it has this sticky mount and i've never been a big fan of these sticky mounts but in this case it's actually coming in very very handy it would have been really cool if this little panel that covers the sticky happened to be magnetic also using the magnet itself that's in the camera to put onto things like a car or just to mount it to be able to film and do things really doesn't work out that great because most of the time the camera is pointed nowhere where you actually want it to be. So having this ball mount come with it is really plush and pretty awesome that DJI did that. I just really wish this cheapy little plastic cover for the sticky would be magnetic so it was like a two in one. Because the sticky sticks really good but you have to wash it every now and then to make it stick again. So it'd be cool to be able to just back and forth magnet to sticky. Anyways, we've landed, I'm on the road, we're going to the motel to check in and then we will be at opening night of Spin Up, which is like a get together party kind of meet everybody event. So, I'll see you there. Not bad. One of the most fun things for me about doing events like this, going to new places like this is finding new hotels. Not only do I have a cool little workstation to be able to do a little editing while I'm here, but there's a lake out the window. Let me just show you. I guess technically it's just a retention pond. The other side of the road where I had my original room was just a parking lot. So this is this is better than that. I think we can get out here and do a little flying later. That's pretty cool. Look at that. There's a pool and a hot tub. And I've got my own little workstation. I can set up my computer and everything right here. We'll do a little editing tonight after the dinner. Let's uh, get on to the dinner. <laughs> I think this is the world's greatest camera. What? You don't know nothing. <laughs> Something that nobody told you in any of the reviews. He's filming to the internal on that one right now. Yeah, right. Yeah. You download it to the... When you put them together to download it, it's going to take about 15 minutes. Oh. I haven't even done a 4K from that to this yet. <laughs> That's something I don't have where I live is bugs. There's bugs here. I don't even know why I'm wearing this hoodie. It's pretty warm. I'm walking over to the event for the meetup because it's just so close. I'm like every other YouTuber. It's a running test. How stable is it when I'm running? I don't know. You tell me. If you guys really want to see how stable this thing is, go check out my other video right over there where I'm running snowboarding. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Nice to see you, man. You too. You need a drink? What's up? Everybody's right there. Yeah. What's up? Oh, oh, what's up, doing, man? Man? How you doing? Oh, hey. What's up, man? Oh, he's recording. Oh. Oh. After filming with this thing all day, there are quite a few little things that seem buggy to me about it. Now I've just dumped the footage into my computer and I'm trying to go through and select the SD card. It's the same SD card I've been using in it since I got it. It's in there, but it shows there's no SD card in there. So yeah. This camera is cool and shitty all at the same time. You're gonna have to use your best judgment by watching this video and other videos to see if it's something that you really need versus so many other cameras out there right now. Or maybe you already have the Osmo One or something else like a GoPro or whatever else. And this just might be just sort of, uh, a $500 magnet? It gets a good picture. It sucks at low light. You saw like when we were out with the drone and stuff, look how shaky that stuff really was. Telling me it's not readable by this computer. It, so many little error messages constantly pop up on the screen. The card is in there and the card works. Why are you no longer picking up on my Sans Extreme Pro card that you've been working with since I bought the damn thing? I can put my SD card in directly into the computer 
and there it is. I gotta get this fixed because tomorrow morning is the actual spin up event. What? in the hell just put the sd card in the gopro reformat it for the gopro you're seeing me it's working gonna try and put it back in action too i wonder how the lighting looks different on this compared to the gopro you you tell me because you've already seen it from seconds ago where we switched back to the gopro and now we're back to this to the exact same spot with the exact same light either one look any different i don't know i'm gonna get some sleep and we're gonna get up in the morning and go up to spin up sort of a youtuber slash drone camera meetup everyone comes out and gets to meet each other and get to learn new stuff about cameras drones kelly has all kinds of prizes he gives away all that information is always on his channel so go follow ready set drone and next year he'll post all kinds of stuff when it comes around again. I'm gonna get some sleep now and we'll continue this in the AM. And just like that, we are at day two starting the actual spin up event. I've located Marcus. Look, he doesn't want to be in the video. He's like, look at him running <laughs> he's away. Shy. He's camera shy. We're gonna launch the Scadio and I don't know. We'll just see how the uh, action does and this footage here is the Scadio too. event where Kelly is holding spin up this year he always seems to move it to different places every year and that's cool we get it it's sort of neat we get to find and find new places how do you guys think it's going with this camera so far let me know in those comments below what you think about how the action 2 looks as you're watching it right now Do I gotta get in the bed? You didn't know I had a cap car? I did not know you were in. <laughs> <laughs> this is my uh, new channel promotional uh, vehicle. It's uh, the drone police. <laughs> we can sit anywhere we want. We're coming. Okay. Go check out. You wouldn't believe the shit I get away with. You were really able to get Pope? Yeah. yeah. How did you get Pope? I'll tell you how because you had to. <laughs> what? Help me. I'm nobody. Make sense? Any questions? Any questions? Hello? Where did this come from? Ready, said drum will always fly with me. The DJI FPV, is there gonna be a version two on the module to work with the controller? that actually uh, comes with the kit so we can use one controller with the goggles with all our real FPV drones too. You can watch his face. Yeah, the, the truth is in his face. Uh, <laughs> that was awesome because this is, <laughs> this is 20, what? 2018. This is his first spin up. Who's got a question? Yes. But it's also important as we're creating content to do something for us. I have the exact <laughs> opposite problem where I have too many ideas. I have no idea what shooting Kelly's Oh, oh I, it's probably like 206. <laughs> that is so much harder than the ski. Oh, oh. <laughs> we watch everybody's channel in here. We support everybody. And, and you know, we're not letting politics get in the way. The world and the country and a lot of people could learn a lesson from this group right here, right now. I'll reply right away. Because if I don't, I'll forget about it. You'll never hear from me again. Don't always know the answer to every question, but if I can help, I will. Oh, I'm not waiting four minutes of video. I'm just saying. I'm just, uh... Doesn't get magnetic interference like with DJI stuff? It probably does. This may be the first time an Action 2 ever filmed the V-Copter. You see this large group of people behind us. They're all into YouTube. They're all into drones. They're all into action cameras and 360 cameras and here we are with speakers that are talking about the industry talking about the drones talking about whatever is happening next in the industry not just the drone industry but the action camera as well as the YouTube algorithm which you all know does much better when you smash that like button down there and subscribe to the channel the screen doesn't work in 4k at the bottom not 4k 120 it tells yeah. you that in uh, manual there's several this... things about it that i like from an engineering standpoint yeah but i'm not a big fan of the camera either so now we're in 4k 60 about nothing. and how long until it overheats five minutes is what everyone says shit yeah. i'm just trying, trying to say it'll overheat in two minutes while we're out here having fun update everyone about uh the action 2 that you're watching to see how good it is for vlogging we're now trying it out in 4k 60 to see if it overheats or not as well as the batteries on this thing are almost completely out. I've been filming on and off most of the day. My top battery is at 18%, my bottom battery is at 9%, and if I want more battery, I need to spend $75.
to get another battery. Seventy five dollars to get another battery. GoPro battery is like twelve bucks. I've had to switch over to the GoPro ten because the battery is completely dead. I'm charging the Action Two right now so that uh, I can get it back up in there. But for now, we're going to be watching on the GoPro ten for the end of the event, or at least for the last part of the event. Phone is over. I don't think it will land in the hand. I don't think it will. We're going to have a fun little contest with some drones and some Nerf guns. And this camera has so many little glitches, so many little glitches, but I love it at the same time, so I'm so confused. How was it, Kelly? It was amazing. And that was Spin Up 2021. Hopefully you enjoyed coming along with us. Now, as I promised, I would go over this camera and my final thoughts after using it for the last few days. And I do have quite a few final thoughts on this camera. I have sort of a love-hate relationship with this guy right now. I love so many things about it, but I've had all these little glitches that I hope most of it can be fixed in firmware updates. For example, the files transferring from the main camera into the bottom camera or modular that you get, which is also the battery, it takes forever. My suggestion is to bypass that whole setup and just go directly into the USB-C slot into your computer and drag the files off right there. But for me, that has actually caused a few other issues too. It has made it so the SD card is then unrecognizable and has made it so that I had to reformat the SD card in a GoPro of all things to be able to make the action to read it again and then I could reformat it for this little dude. Another thing that I'm hoping that can be cleaned up is the image stabilization in horizon lock mode in low light it's just not that great and i hope that's something they can bump up or tweak a little bit in a firmware update keep in mind when you are using that horizon lock on this camera it does really crop into the image quite a bit unlike a couple of the other cameras that i show you here on this channel that let you still have that ultra max wide field of view Why having the horizon lock on i've really enjoyed this whole magnetic system it's a lot of fun I don't know if it's $500 fun, but it is very satisfying. And I've seen a lot of other people say that they enjoy that aspect of it too. I do wish that we could like turn it around and when you put it together, you could go like this, boom, and have like a giant touch screen. You also have to keep in mind, depending on what you're using it for, when you are using it together like this, it's no longer waterproof because this piece here is not waterproof. This piece here by itself is. I do wish that they had found a way to make this rechargeable and to make an SD card in this with some kind of plug to keep this so you could use just this unit alone. Throughout this video that you just watched, the audio was pretty much on point. I didn't have to do a lot of bumping in post. Now in higher action sports with wind, the auto wind cancellation on this thing, well, there, there isn't an auto wind cancellation. There is an on and an off and the on doesn't work that good. This coming apart like this makes this piece so small and lightweight. The whole chest mount works really well because it is much lower than other companies' chest mounts. So you can just snap it on there and half the time people don't even notice it. Oh, now nah, somebody knows. Oh, he's recording, he's recording. Now, as far as the overheating issue we hear so much about, I tried it in 1080, I tried it in 4K60, I tried it in 4K120, and not once did this get anywhere near hot enough that I could see this being uh, a problem for overheating. One of the biggest downfalls to this camera, which you need to be aware of, this bottom unit is actually an extra battery. Even though it does recharge the top unit, when you run out, you either have to plug it in and charge it, or you have to have another battery. And these extra batteries, the cheapest one is $75 a pop. There is not anything on the market yet. And I say yet, because who knows what could come. That lets you buy like a 10 to $20 pack that just goes onto the bottom. And to me, that is huge, because a lot of the times when I'm filming, I am filming for long periods of time. One of these is not enough to get me through my day of filming. That is probably my biggest complaint about this. That is just something that DJI is going to have to come out with, and hopefully, fingers crossed, they do. Overall, I do think this is a fun camera. For vlogging, it works pretty well. It lets you set up in ways that are sort of creative and different because it is so small and because of the magnetic form factor. I think it's also probably good for light action things, but for true action sports, I probably would not recommend this camera. I am currently working on a video showcasing it 
for snowboarding. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It's coming soon. And I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you check out this video right there because I think you will enjoy it also. And if you can still find an Action One for around $199 or less, I would jump on it because I still feel that that is more of an action camera than the Action Two.